Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain why our MRS, that's our marginal rate of substitution, is equal to the absolute value or alternatively the negative of the slope of our indifference curve. Now just to be clear, I have here our MRS subscript XY, so our MRS is going to tell us about the rate at which we're trading off or substituting between some good Y for exactly one more unit of good X holding utility constant. Now I'm going to start right at the beginning just with the basics of our slope. So we know that the slope of a line is equal to rise over run. If we had this line here, for instance, and I'll just use a straight line to begin with. So the slope is constant. The slope of this line will be equal to the change in Y, that's our rise, that's the change in the vertical axis variable, divided by the change in X, that's our horizontal axis variable, that's our run. And we could find this ratio between any two points along our curve. So if we move from point A to point B, for instance, in this case, our rise will be, well, we're going from six to two, so that's a negative four. And our run is we're going from two to four, so that's a positive two. So the slope comes out then as negative four over two, so negative two. Now, what does this slope coefficient actually mean? Well, in fact, as a general rule, the slope is going to tell us by how much our vertical axis variable changes if we increase our horizontal axis variable by one. And so the slope of negative two then is telling us that as we move along this line, if we increase X by one, that's our horizontal axis variable, we're going to decrease Y, that's our vertical axis variable by two. And I'm sorry the diagram is not the right scale, but I hope you get the idea. Now, if you can't see how we get to this interpretation, just note that this ratio clearly tells us that if we increase X by two, we decrease Y by four. And we can just normalize that change in our denominator to one by dividing our denominator by two. So two over two is equal to one. So now our change in X is equal to positive one. But we also have to divide the numerator by two as well in order to keep that ratio constant. And we get negative two over one. So that's a decrease in Y of two when our X increases by one. And that's what our slope coefficient tells us. Now with our indifference curves, and I've drawn one here, it's pretty much the same interpretation of our slope coefficient, except of course that very often, and as I've drawn out here, the slope of our indifference curve will change as we move along the curve. So we have a curved line, not a, not a straight one. Now in this case, instead of taking a discrete change along the curve, we're going to evaluate the slope at single points along the curve. We can take any point, let's just think about point Z here for instance. And to get slightly technical, just to stop you wondering just in case you are, when we find the slope at a point along a curve, we're going to say that the slope at that point is just equal to the slope of the straight line that is exactly tangent to the curve at that point. So that calculus is in the background. Now in practice, we find the slope of our indifference curves by taking the negative of our marginal utility in X divided by our marginal utility in Y. I do have a video on this and I'll link to it in the description below if you need it. What matters for us is that once we have the slope coefficient at the point that we're interested in, and let's just say in our example here, the slope at the point Z is equal to negative four, then the interpretation of that slope coefficient is pretty much the same as our interpretation when we have a straight line. In particular, we're going to say that at this point, if we increase X by some marginal amount, we're going to have to decrease Y by four in order to stay on the same line, which is our indifference curve. Now, technically, we are talking about marginal changes. So marginal means small. And most textbooks just go ahead and equate a marginal change with one. So I'll follow suit and do that as well. So our slope is going to tell us then about the change in our vertical axis variable, which is Y, when the change in our horizontal axis variable, which is X, is equal to positive one. So we have them basically the same interpretation then as the slope of our straight line. 
Now, critically though, an indifference curve maps out all of the bundles between which a consumer is indifferent. And this means that the level of utility that a consumer gets is held constant as we travel along our indifference curve. So it follows then, going back to the point where our slope is negative four, that this slope is telling us that if we increase our consumption of good X by one, we would decrease our consumption of Y by four, and that would keep our utility constant. To say this another way, at this point, the consumer trades off four units of Y for exactly one more unit of X. And hopefully then you can see the link between our slope coefficient of our indifference curves and our marginal rate of substitution. The absolute value of our slope is telling us about exactly the same trade-off as our marginal rate of substitution. Now it is critical here, and I should have written it down, but I didn't, that when we draw our curves, X is on the horizontal axis and Y is on the vertical axis. That's important. Let's take one other point down here to demonstrate the link again. If we're say here and we understand that the slope at this point is negative 0.5. Well, the slope coefficient means that if we increase X by one unit, we have to decrease Y by 0.5 by a half in order to keep on the same indifference curve. So at this point then, we would trade off half a unit of y for one more unit of x, and that would keep our utility constant. So our MRS then would be just 0.5, which is the absolute value, or the negative of our slope. All right, so that's the link then between the slope of our indifference curves and the MRS. I do hope the video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like, and have a good one.